Today's Monday, but I had the best weekend that I've had in a long time. <laughs> I've been having a really hard school year and I don't know what it is, but I was able to somehow just kind of put like a blockade up and not think about all my responsibilities. I got out of the house instead of just laying around in my pajamas and like feeling sorry for myself. It was awesome. It felt like fall, even though it was so hot out. I'm really excited for colder weather to come. All in California, the beginning of it is super hot, although today was super cold. I don't know, it's totally weird weather. Beginning of fall in California is usually super warm, so it was kind of cool to have like a fall day, fall vibe, but warm weather. I don't know, check it out. It was amazing to just feel no pressure, no responsibility, just kind of casually wake up. I think I woke up around like 8.30 or 9, which is still the morning, just not 6.30 a.m. like I normally have to. And I was able to make myself breakfast and sit down and actually enjoy it. My go-to for breakfast is always eggs at home, at restaurants, anywhere. Eggs, an English muffin, and hot sauce. So good. I don't know if it's a California thing that we put hot sauce or like hot toppings on our eggs but i'm obsessed with it and you can literally not have eggs any other way so if you are living in the midwest or the east coast i kind of don't think that people out there really do that you have to try it and if you've already tried it and i'm just being silly then leave me a comment let me know if you like it or not one of the unique things about where i live and i don't know if this giving too much personal information away, but I am living near the Steinbeck house. A lot of you probably are like, who's Steinbeck? So John Steinbeck was a famous author and he grew up in my hometown. And this really old house that I live near is actually his house from when he was born. Like he was born there and he grew up there. People say it's haunted, I believe it, I have proof. A whole other video. But it's the most adorable house and they give tours, they have a gift shop downstairs and then they have a little restaurant inside the dining room and they're not paid waiters, they're just older people who are retired and volunteer to serve the patrons that come in and then give like a little tour and like history of the house. It's super cool and super cute and I love like living in a neighborhood that has something so historical as that. All right, it is Saturday morning, almost afternoon, and it is blazing hot. It's almost in the 80s on this beautiful, beautiful fall day. <laughs> uh, fall in California is pretty warm, but it does still have that like fall feeling but it's just hot. They're also practicing for the air show that we have every year. So if you hear any noise, it's because of that. So if you're wondering where I'm going, I am headed to get some iced tea because I've been craving it. It's from this place, I forget what it's called, but it's kind of like a tea bar. So that's where I'm headed right now. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop filming because it's hot and I'm sweating and I'm Feeling out of shape and out of breath. See you at the G house. Okay, wait. You know, this is serious because I'm filming at a low angle. Um, like our whole police department in the town that I live in just passed by. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go follow them. They went this way, but I'm walking. It's on my way to the G house. But I could go a different way but I'm nosy and it's Saturday. So let's see what's going on. I don't know, maybe this is not the best idea, but I'm doing it. All right, I had to take a break under this tree. It is way too hot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see what's going on with the police. They're like two or three streets down and my tea house is around this corner. Woo, probably wasn't the safest idea anyway. I'm like out of shape. Coming up on it, it's actually called the Gold Leaf Spice and Teas.
so good. Pink flamingo with oat milk and boba. I just spilled a bunch of it on me, it's so good. All right, I am on my way back home and I think I'm going to go meet some of my friends uh, at lunch at this little Mexican restaurant called Ariana's. It is amazing how just more level-headed and happy and calm and not just like on alert that I feel on weekends. And it just proves how stressful teaching is. And I know everyone's job is stressful, but like I'm honestly running on empty from Tuesday through Friday, truly. And I just wonder like if everyone feels like that because this is what I feel like life should feel like. Like a nice warm day with an iced tea. All right, I'm back in my car. So I feel like, <coughs> excuse me, that I can elaborate more on that comment or feeling that I was just talking about on my walk home. Teaching is more draining and intense and exhausting than the average job. And on weekends, specifically Saturdays, I just feel so refreshed and well slept and I have so much energy and just desire to do things for me and I wonder what it would be like to have a job or a type of career that would allow me to feel like this every day. I know that most jobs are stressful and a lot of people feel like they're running on empty but I would just like to feel a little less like I'm running on empty. That I have time to get stuff done for myself. Like this morning when I made myself eggs, I got to sit down and enjoy it. I was able to go get some tea in the morning while well, kind of late afternoon. I was able to do some loads of laundry. I haven't folded them yet, but I was able to do them. Uh, and now I'm going to have lunch with some of my friends. I think there are jobs out there, and correct me if I'm wrong, where I can take the lunch off and not be rushed and go have lunch with some of my friends or my coworkers. Not rushed, just truly relaxing, enjoying myself. There are jobs where I don't have to be at work at 7.30 a.m. There are jobs where I can do things that I enjoy in my life. I just don't quite know what they are. But when I figure it out, I'll let you know. After I got my boba tea and then walked home, I got in my car and actually went to I guess like second breakfast with some of my friends and I didn't even think to film because I just was so hot and I was so excited to see a friend that was in town and before you knew it like everyone had already eaten and we were leaving and I was able to just grab like a quick like video of the table with just dishes and like half eaten plates but this is what it looks like it was a place called Ariana's Mexican restaurant super yummy they don't cook their eggs with butter or oil they cook it with margarine so super fatty savory but so good what i love about my town is that on saturdays we have a farmer's market and it started as just this like one little street near where my condo is and then it was getting really cramped so they actually extended it to two full blocks in our old town our old town is what it sounds like it's like the local main drag and there's like tons of old buildings cute little shops bars restaurants and that's where they hold it. My boyfriend and I, even though he wasn't here with me that day, love going to this guy uh, who has this little booth called The Secret Bakery and he makes the freshest bread, he does it all by himself, and the most yummy pastries. And I, and I definitely picked one up for my boyfriend. So I asked the guy, what pastry do you think my boyfriend will like? And he was like, he's gonna like anything you give him. And he was totally right. Cause everything he makes is bomb, so good. Now. This next part of my day was not in my plan, but after the farmer's market, we popped into this place called Alvarado Brewing Company. They have amazing beer, tons of fun cocktails, non-alcoholic drinks, and yummy food. And I just had some drinks with my friends and then some friends left and then my boyfriend came and then we had some more drinks and I had a few glasses of rosé and I had the most yummy oysters. I like oysters when they are just topped with a bunch of stuff. I can't just eat them by themselves because the texture and just the taste doesn't taste good. It's not enjoyable, but when you load them up with toppings, so good. Uh, 
I do love living on the coast because fresh oysters all the time. I don't know. I don't think the, I don't think the Midwest gets fresh oysters. Doesn't seem like that's something that they would have. I don't know, if I'm wrong, correct me. I'm gonna stop Saturday right there because a little more drinking happened. Not a lot of filming. Not a lot that I want on the internet, but it was a 10 out of 10 day. Let's move on to Sunday. By the way, this whole weekend was so hot, but it just had such major fall vibes. And I know that that's hard to get across through video when it's like, I'm doing summery things like wearing a tank top and going to farmer's markets and having oysters and rosé, but I feel it coming. I feel fall coming. I know it's coming. I know the colder weather's coming. In fact, it came today. Look at what I'm wearing. Let's move on to Sunday. Sunday was also awesome. Not as good as Saturday. Saturday's always the best because you just sleep in and then you know tomorrow is Sunday and that you don't have any responsibilities or the responsibilities that you do have are to like to do your laundry or your dishes or something like that. Sundays there's always just a bit of anxiety for me and just preparing for Monday for the day that's to come. And I think that everyone's like that no matter what job you have, whether you're a teacher or work at Costco. I think Sunday scaries are a thing for a reason, right? But Sunday I didn't actually do that much during the day, so I wasn't really filming anything unless you just want to see me sitting on the couch in my pajamas, but I guess there's like a niche for that, but that's not this. But I did really enjoy going to watch a sunset with my boyfriend. We do live in Monterey County, so if you've never been to Monterey, it is a city on the coast in central california and it has some of the most beautiful views and it is a world-renowned place people come from all over the world to visit we're super close to big sur so we have a bunch of different spots that we go uh to watch the sunset or go to the beach but one place we really like to go to watch the sunset is the hotel called the monterey tides they have a little lobby area where you can order food and drinks and sit and watch the sunset or just or just watch the waves crash or people watch it's open to the public and it's an amazing view so that's what we did sunday after that i did need to do something productive after that i did need to do something slightly productive this weekend so we did go to trader joe's and i got a bunch of yummy foods and i realized that i am so overwhelmed this school year that i do not want to cook anything so i got a lot of prepackaged salads Prepackaged couscous salads, prepackaged veggies that I could just saute, some frozen foods, and I know it's not the best for trying to be healthy, but I am hanging on by a thread this school year, and I just need something quick and easy to throw into my bag and leave for work. So that was my weekend and it was awesome and I loved that I was able to just disconnect from reality, I guess. Just disconnect from reality, not disconnect from reality, but live my life and not live in this constant stress of thinking about my job and how hard it is this year. I actually went out and enjoyed myself and I think that that is so important. So try our best at work, do what we're supposed to do, but also take time to go out and live your life because you only have one. And with that depressing thought, I am going to let you go. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at that California teacher. Thank you. Bye.